What's up, Tommy with the Hobby Squad here. Uh, playing a deck that a lot of people think are... It's kind of dead, fell by the wayside after the list, but I'm just here. I got a... I went undefeated at Dragon's Lair, 5-0-1. Uh, if you count the ties, some people don't, don't like to count the ties undefeated. But um, I also undefeated at the PPG 3v3. Uh, even though my team didn't go undefeated, I was 4-0-1. Uh, these ties are literally me just either not gaining with Natasha or not entering battle phase. So like, these ties are borderline wins, I'd say. And then I got top eight at Cool Comics, top eight Dragon Slayer. Um, so yeah, since the list has been out with no Eva, I've been running it. And uh, it's been doing pretty well, especially since the only the only list where we all played with a new list was the PPG. Uh, since then, I've still been going against Proto, still been going against, you know, Bird decks, whatnot. So it's like... It's been doing pretty good. I'll get into the list, though. It's 3 Alpha, 3 Zeta, pretty standard. I only went 2 Gamma this time because uh, you can brick with Gamma. Like, Gamma, Z like gamma Zeta or Gamma Gamma is just not good. Um, the 1 Delta, because it's an extender, even though we run the pot, we just we can get it if it's the last name we need. Um, for Rituals, we got the, the Draco. Let me just do an overview first so you can just see the whole deck if you want to skip this. But I'm going to go into a little depth on it. Um, we got the Draco Nids. Great. Plays around Scythe. You can just... If you get Scythe locked, you can Draco Nids swing into all their stuff. If all goes according to plan. It doesn't always work like that because of the, the fog blades and whatnot. But then we have the pre the Perfection. The Cyber Angels. Um, I wouldn't really cut any of these. Natasha's been really good. Natasha helps you gain life. It, just taking stuff is really good too. Um, not much to say about them. You can search all those with the pre-prep and, I mean, with, with a uh, regular prep, which is nice. Um, then you got the diviners, the, this is the, the new, uh, fairy package here. And, uh, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, you can search the orange light hard and I'll, I'll go through more like what the boards I was ending on later, but, uh, I'll just get through the list and then I'm scythe locking people. That's the new. Well, not really new, but it's the it's the win condition for a lot of games. Um, Drytron Nova is Fafnir. Uh, I like the Fafnir and the Fool. She's just extra consistency. The emergencies are good. Um, the pre prep, the prep. Uh, these these are pretty good. I like I like the the prosperity gets you into the pre prep, which then makes you like people can't interact with you once you get pre prep. And even like an alpha, they can't imperm your alpha, they can't veil it, you just alpha them, pre-prep, and then you have um, a, a perfection that they can't interact with. It's kind of like, it's kind of like this is the mini Brave engine, where the perfection, once you get it out, they cannot interact with you, and you do the rest of your plays. And a lot of the boards you end on, I think is, is in my opinion, better than the PK boards, once you get the perfection on board, and end with, um, with the protection. With the negates, you end with orange lights and hands. Um, even even searching Lancia games two and three, I mean, it's pretty good. And then you have the triple the triple droplet, the one dark lord. Uh, the dark lord I thought was good in the PBG just because I was expecting a lot of sword soul still, and without protos, dark ruler is just really good against them. You could cut the dark ruler realistically. I ran two in the PBG and three droplet just because of that reason. Um, but Scythe is just goaded for getting around, I mean, the Forbidden Droplet is goaded for getting around Scythe and just breaking boys. Droplet's so good. It's, it's kind of like a staple three of at this point. And you got the one ofs. Uh, I'm only playing one Fusion Destiny, mostly because you don't want to draw. I mean, drawing it's fine and it helps you not have to make the, the Preda plant, but you want to see your combo pieces. You want to see the Drytron names, like... The Fusion Destiny isn't essential. And then you have the Medionis and Dawn. Uh, Dawn is busted. The fact that you can search Dawn off of uh, Ida 10, once you already have your uh, Medionis, you can search Dawn from deck is, is insane. Um, also just searching it off of Zeta, if you already have a Medionis, or if you have a Fafnir and a Nova, and you search Medionis, you can search Dawn off Zeta and like, it's just really good. Like, Dawn is the MVP of the deck. Without it, like, it just recycles Ben 10. That's everything you need. There also was a combo on YouTube I saw, just Alpha Zeta, and it ends on, um, 
It ends on Scythe Lock plus Perfection with Orange Light and Ben 10 in hand just off Alpha Zeta. And um, the only thing you have to play is the, I think it's M7 to add the Ben 10 back, the, the rank six. So that's pretty insane. Um, but yeah, as for boards I was ending on, I'll get into the extra deck here in a second. Uh, the boards I was ending on was mostly Perfection with Fairies in hand, with a Scythe Lock and an IP. And from there, it's very hard. Like, especially because you end with Orange Light in hand too. So if you do get dropped with it, you have Orange Light. Sometimes you have Orange Light Lancia um, with another Fairy. And like, that is very hard. Even if they drop with you, like you're still usually winning those games. So it was, the end boards this deck can put up are actually insane. And the follow up, oh my God, it's so good. I will say one thing. I'm only playing one um, Herald. The reason being is because since you raw search all your cards and you don't search them off of Eva anymore, instead of ending with this in hand, you end with like a Natasha and an Orange Light in hand. So you, if you do keep your hand, essentially, you don't have to have the extra Orange Light, I mean the extra uh, Herald, because you're just going to search. You're going to have this raw in your hand to discard anyway. And also, the, the follow-up with the draw two off of the uh, Celestial is insane. Like, you almost always have a name. And once you have... The follow-up in this deck is so crazy, too. Like, I, I, I will say, like, it outpaces most decks with follow-up. Like, the fact that you just go bring back usually Gamma to dodge Ash or Alpha to dodge... Um, if you're dodging, like, uh, what's it called? Blackout or something. And then you just go Natasha them or, or something like that. Like, like... The follow-up's insane. Like, you just get so many cards off of it. And you can make Boral Sword almost every follow-up. So we have the one Herald, the one Downard, uh, Zeus, Boral Sword, IP, Entis, Nightmare, Predaplant, uh, Tumu Beta, Alinkaribo, Dagda, uh, Beatrice, Appalooza, and the Phoenix. Um, the one thing I will say is the M7 play is really good, just to Alpha Zeta with the M7. I do have not further testing with it. I will say I like this build better than the Megalith so far, even though it's kind of biased. I haven't tested the Megalith stuff, but just the perfection isn't so insane with this card. Um, but I could see putting fitting an M7 in here because I do see the value of just going Alpha Zeta into a really, like, into a nuts board. But, um... The deck usually has a lot of extenders, like you have so much gas, and just looking at the overview, like you can see how many power spells the deck plays. And I will say one last thing before I go on side. This is a 45 card main deck, which I got uh, a little bit of shit for, but the extra cards you're running that you could quote unquote cut are like Foolish, Fafnir, Pots, like I, you can't cut Pot because it gets you into this. And this makes you uninteractable. Like, and you can't, like, these are just extra consistency cards. So while you could you could definitely cut the ruler, I guess, um, just because it doesn't help against Scythe, really. But for the most part, like, the extra cards in your deck are more consistency cards that help you not brick with... Because you need Drytrons unless you, unless you want to brick. So it's like, it does help you in that, in that aspect. All right, I'm just going to make a little area here, down here for this side. Um... Of course, I didn't put this in order, but Cosmics, uh, good against Scythe. I only did one Lightning Storm because I was playing my locals, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of pretty good Sword Soul players, so I opted to put another token collector, a few token collectors in. Even though I normally don't do that, it's just happened that way. Uh, Dark Ruler, I still like Ruler against new format Sword Soul. It's pretty good. Uh, I still like the Gammas. The Gammas are really good going second. Um, it just hits so many decks, and it's just like a solemn strike that you can play on your opponent's turn, which is busted. Uh, the double token collector. Uh, cards just kind of nuts against Sword Soul. Um, I just have a lot. I, didn't, I did not actually play these, or I might have played one at the PPG, because you can dump it off Beatrice, but I... I just bumped it because of my locals. But um, MVP card was Lancia. Uh, Lancia is just nuts against Virtual World, nuts against PK. It's pretty good against, like, Flunders and stuff. And the fact that the deck can just search it. And you get a lot of searches. I've, I've searched five times with Ben 10 at one turn, multiple times. And it's just because you recycle it with, um, 
with Harold and you get it back with Medianus twice. And just having that extra ritual spell, having that per like that Dawn, I, I know I've just been I've been just sucking off Dawn this whole time. But like Dawn, having that extra ritual spell just allows you to Medionis twice into Ben 10. So that's Ben 10, Ben 10, Ben 10, Ben 10. And then like if you have it in hand to start, like you just you get five Ben 10. It's insane. So like yeah, Lancey is just really good. And the fact that you can search Scythe comes up a lot too. I'll search Scythe if I know I'm going to search three times. So I had an orange light, uh, a Natasha usually, and um, a Scythe, which I set so that I can make IP. Because IP just allows you to have another point of interaction. It makes them have to do another drop with target. It's just, it's it's nice to end on the IP. Anyways, that's the list. Uh, I do think it's it's pretty it's pretty competitive. I mean, I've... Out of the short time I've played with it, I've topped all but one event. And I didn't top the first day of the PPG either. Or the second day, but I did pretty I did undefeated the second day. But the first day I didn't win a single die roll. And I know that's a bad excuse, but like to not win a single die roll. I started off 2-0 and then just lost out, which sucked. But um yeah, better luck next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the list.